right, so parking at the Menlo Library is four hour time limit, or all throughout here. But I think I could park further down without any time limits. Those leaf blowers are so annoying. All right, I looked further down. I don't see any regulation against parking, but you're at the end of a softball or baseball park, and it says park at your own risk. So you could have a home run hit right into your car. Or I could just simply park on the side of the road, all along this road. I don't, uh, I don't know that catch the name of it, but it, every there's all kinds of people parked underneath the trees with good shade and stuff, unregulated. Oh yeah, that's right, it's on the streets. But the biggest challenge would be noise, because the trains pass by. I got a question. Why do no RVs park here? There's not a single RV. So none of them RVs that are parked on the Stanford Road, El Camino Rio, bother parking here. It's not far from the library. What keeps them at Stanford and, and draws them away from here? Alright, there's these apricot farms in front of the, the city hall, and I just watched uh, like a 70 or 80 year old man just pick the apricots. So I came up behind him and asked them if they're ready to eat, and he's like, oh yeah, but don't do it. <laughs> what a hypocrite. He can eat them. And they got signs that say don't pick these apricots. I should have recorded the interaction. Tree removal stuff in Palo Alto is getting a little ridiculous. Look at this thing. It's completely dead. It's hollowed out. Can't quite get over there. All right, well, as much as I want to see the bridge, the, the fish bridge, I don't know if it's possible. They got some serious fence up. All for Stanford research. Wow, there's a palm tree right down in there. Just kind of wild growing. This is Old Page Mill Road, breaks off as a fork from New Page Mill. Fence replacement, Stanford, Egg 2000. So they're gonna be replacing this fence with uh, the bigger, thicker black one over there. Most likely. Oh, you can get through there. So it's an academic reserve. I've never heard that kind of claim before. And there's a penal section. They got it uh, legally binding. And it looks like there's people sleeping on this old Page Mill Road. Kind of memorial on this, uh, on this old, old uh, Page Mill Road. For John Peckham. Wow, he must have died prematurely, born the same year as me. So I passed contractors, construction workers, who are actually digging the holes for these posts. They got these posts up back here. They're still digging up there. Man, no expense is too large to put up such a grand military style fence. Just to what? Protect their research on the nature, the, 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 just to protect the, 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 this area. It's really strange to me. They must, what, what value do they see in this nature research stuff? They don't even put a fence around Stanford. They don't even care to protect the students as much as uh, they're willing to put efforts into protecting the woods back here. Oh, this thing is old. It's got like a castle style structure on the top. And they're about to put a fence around this. Oh, there's gonna be a gate, but that gate's gonna be locked all the time. So, 
getting the getting the information while I can. Irrigation? Oh. Alright. So it's some kind of irrigation tower. People won't be able to come back here in in a few weeks because this fence is going up quick. So enjoy the views while you can. Oh you can sneak in there, huh? People cut a hole in there. Snuck skinny people can fit in there. That's the only entrance. Make a home out of that. Because it's a water tower, I guess it needs to be completely enclosed. Weird. So here's here's where the top bars are, are being placed. And the fence right here. And it's pretty... Uh, still needs to get attached. Not wasting any time. That's nice of them to make a bike lane right on the sign. Yeah, as far out here, they got enough traffic to where they feel it's uh, best to have a designated bike lane. It is heading towards this Palo Alto College. So one in ten people in the world are supposed to be obese. And the psychology seems to be that the only way to stay, to not get obese is to have a gym membership. And if people continue with that belief, that's it. We're going to have a worse situation in the future. SPV fire. Right, so this is the Ahara Stradera Preserve. Looks like it used to be farmland. All right, and on this preserve, it appears to have water, a hitch for your horses, and bathrooms and a parking lot over there. So that's pretty cool. Seems like it should be shut down though. But it's pretty busy out here. Yep. Closer to the Palo Alto College. This is bad road. It's too busy. And it's not friendly for bicycling. There's no easy access to the, the lake, which would be the signal to me, the evidence that there most likely is a, a fish bridge, the dam, the fish bridge. There's no easy access. The lake is actually back that way somewhere, but on this trail along this road, there's really no turns to go towards that lake. I see all kinds of roads. But I didn't really see any turns. Either uh, I just blacked out when passing a turn, or maybe they don't exist, or they're private or something. as difficult as the traffic is around here I'm still enjoying myself mostly I may take a lot of wrong turns and get frustrated about having to travel further than I expected but it's rewarding in the end as long as I can afford food to support all this all this extra work All this work in the workout. I thought Menlo Park was a park, but it's actually a city of 30, almost 33,000. Huh. 
highly regulated with all these fence 